Hi there. My name is Jim Jasinski. I'm with Ohio State University Extension, the Integrated Pest Management Program. And today I want to share with you some tips and tricks I've learned over the years for sorting and separating out adult spotted wing drosophila, both the males and the females. So by now you've probably taken the trap contents uh, outside and dumped them into a vial like this. And now we have to take the contents of this vial and put them into a petri dish to put them under the scope to be able to look for both the male and female spotted wing versus all the other non-targets that might be in there. So what do we need to do to get started? First thing is we're going to need to have something like a petri dish to put uh, the contents of the vial into and then something like this which is a target or a grid that's going to help you sort and separate more efficiently. You'll be able to go up and down the lines um, of this chart and not be able to uh, miss any areas or double count any areas. Typically we put this target right behind uh, the petri dish just like this and then count typically one quadrant at a time. An example I'm going to show you in a few minutes. I'm only going to count one quadrant but if I was doing the entire dish I would go through all uh, those four quadrants and repeat the process. Uh, something you might want to think about doing is taping this quadrant to the back of the petri dish therefore the two can't move and you can't lose your place. So, uh, what else do we need? Something to move around uh, the samples. So you might have something like a pair of forceps, you might have a paintbrush, some uh, type of uh, plastic pick, or even something as simple as uh, like a plastic tie wrap might help you move the samples around if they're not in perfect position for you to identify them. Uh, so I think that's about it. Let's go ahead and get started. So we'll take our sample, we'll take our Petri dish, Give it a swirl, dump it in, and then start counting. If you think of the Petri dish as a clock, I'm starting at 12 noon and working my way sort of right to left in the upper left quadrant. I'm panning back and forth. I think this is a female. I'm zooming in a bit more. I really want to focus on that ovipositor. You can see now the teeth of the ovipositor. That confirms that that is a female spotted wing drosophila. I continue searching right to left, go down a grid, all the way to the edge, work my way back to the right. I see something suspicious here. As I zoom in, that looks like a female. Again, the teeth on the ovipositor confirms that as a female. I zoom back out a little bit. Right now my field of view is about one centimeter wide. If you see something you're not sure of, take your brush out, give it a poke, put it in a better position to determine if it is a male or a female, and then move on. Here we have both a female at the top it looks like a male at the bottom. Yep, that's a female. Note the teeth on the ovipositor. Spots on the wings. Now we have to try to find those two spurs on the front leg. Can't quite see it there. Give it a push. And now you can see those two spurs. That is a male. I continue searching. There's the boundary of the first quadrant. Now I move down. In this frame I can see a female on the right and a male at the bottom and a male at the top. Give it a poke. Take a look. At the top you'll see those two spurs on the front leg. Definitely a male. Keep looking. Up at the top is a female, down at the bottom is a female, and it looks like there's another male right there in the bottom center, right there, yep. We'll zoom in, look at that front leg, you'll see those two spurs, those two combs of hairs.
Here we see another female on the left. Note the ovipositor has the teeth. Note the general golden color of the body and the stripes that go all the way across the abdomen. Moving down to the edge of the petri dish, there's a male in the center. There's another male in the center. There's a female in the center. There's a male at the bottom right. We'll zoom in and you can see the teeth on the ovipositor confirms as a female. Again, male to her left. Next to that beetle, that's a female on the left. Yep, right there. And that's a male on the right. So a female there, then that beetle, and then the males on the right. There's a male that's straddling that yellow line. If you have a male or female that's on a line, go ahead and move it one way or the other. Just make a rule of how you want to count those and follow it. As we move to the red line, this ends our search of the first quadrant.